I'm the fire chief now and have been for 21 years. I started out well, I mean, about 35 years ago to be a volunteer to help people in my community. Got interested in firefighting and all downhill from there. Our budget is approximately $50,000 a year, what it costs us to keep our doors open and operate efficiently. So we are solely funded on our own fundraising. It's, it's a small town, uh, a lot of us know each other, and we have that, that community founding, you know, of everybody sticking together and working together and making this town the best it can be. When you look and think about Renova nowadays, you think about churches and fire companies. And that's what it is, it's our cultural center. It's one of those things that, that helps, that brings people together. Um, my role at Trans Canada, I'm, I'm a compressor station engineer. I chose to be a volunteer firefighter just because I, I like helping people and I like being, you know, helping in the community. I just enjoy it. I believe it was toward the end of January, we've had, oh, I want to say, minimum of 15 cardiac events. And we had like six of them in a two week time period and not so good positive outcomes because the incidents happened in some precarious places where you can't do a full-blooded CPR movement to make things happen in a proper way because of patient location, whereabouts. Brandon introduced the opportunity through TransCanada. Well, he told me all about it and made contact with a young lady in Houston. Bless her, we got it. Bless TransCanada, we got it. The reason the Lucas device is so critical to Renova, it's not an easy job performing CPR, chest compressions on a patient. It's a very strenuous job. This Lucas device is actually gonna take and cut a lot of that work out for us. It's just a huge investment in the community. I mean, as mayor, I want the Renova Fire Department to be able to have the resources they need to do their job at the highest level, at the best of their ability. I think for most of us, we're gonna be a little calmer about it. You know, just in case something does happen out there, there's, there's a little bit more assured about the likelihood that there's going to be a good outcome. Grants Canada is awesome. They are great people. And to fund me with a source of that size, I can't thank Trans Canada enough. Trans Canada is looking into building strong communities. Uh, and this is one scenario right here, uh, looking out, helping the public. They're trying to invest and make big impacts in the community.